So without further ado, it is time to begin the jingle contest here at postwrestling.com. Our first entrant is Oliver Kubasik, who has sent this in. Please enjoy, for all the people who mean so much to us listeners, he said he would post the lyrics if needed. They are not needed. We are just going to play it. So here it is, entitled, Fa La 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 La. I originally did this song around Halloween. I'd like to thank everybody in the Law family for all they did. I love you all. I'm not changing the lyrics. Was that that was Ollie? That was from oh Oliver. Is yeah, that Ollie? That's Ollie. Oh my goodness! From Brydens. From Brydens. I recognize going that's, under a different pseudonym. That distinct I mean, we're not style. Used to Oliver. I'm just used to the Ollie. Ollie actually had that thing ready, like as he mentioned back in Halloween, and uh, he was very disappointed when he heard the news because it meant that he thought that there would be no jingle contest, but. Uh, he had that thing set up for a long time in some very, very well thought out lyrics, referencing Amazing. everybody in the Law family. Wow. Uh, well, that was incredible. So thank you very much. And uh, we're going to continue things going here. Um, quite the start. So next up is Jeremiah Lewis. And this is entitled Podcast Now. Do you have an Asian heart? What? Do you have an Asian heart? I, I surely do. Have yourself a merry little podcast. May the youth hide heterosexual. From now on, our troubles will be kilometers away Here we are as in young and days happen young and days of currently somewhat faithful friends who were dear to us Gather in a relative location once more Through the months we all will be together If the fates allow Hang a shining star upon the highest Wow. wow. 
Well, there you go. That was Jeremiah Lewis. With very nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful voice. Have a little... Merry Christmas. Oh, well, Jeremiah. thank you very much, Jeremiah. The same to you. Beautiful voice. All right. Well, what, what have you thought of the field so far away? Uh... Mixed results? <laughs> Thank you for the, everybody's effort. I know you're you're being appreciative here, um, <laughs> as we uh, as we go through here. <laughs> Let me also tell you that our setup here <laughs> this oh, is not yeah. conducive well, for this listen, contest. We, do miss, we are trying our damnedest. We year, we miss having a mixer. Well, that's for sure. Well, it's baby steps, baby <laughs> steps along the way. patreoncom slash wrestling. Next up, uh, Canadian Bulldog. Twas the Nitro before Christmas. He also included numerous videos here promoting his own website. So a true marketer here mm-hmm. in Canadian Bulldog. I respect that. Um, yeah, a, a great chance. And uh, we are going to have to uh, load this up. We're going to have to edit the shit out of this. No way. All right. Are you ready here? <laughs> yes. It was the Nitro before Christmas. He's got me at the title. Best title so far. <sighs> was the nitro before Christmas and all through the ring not a creature was stirring except the man they call Sting the turnbuckles were hung by the ring ropes with care with hopes that the nitro girls soon would be there Eric Bischoff was nestled all snug in his bed while visions of big ratings danced in his head Mongo McMichael had a dog in his lap. The West Texas Rednecks performed rap as crap. When out in the ring, there arose such a clatter. The cruiserweights were battling up on a ladder. Out on the ramp, Bischoff flew like a flash. He saw Shannon Moore beating up Lash. <laughs> Save it for the show, Bischoff barked to his crew. The first hour, we've got Kidman going against Lash LaRue. When what to Bischoff's wondering eyes should appear, but the New World Order chugging some beer. Stop drinking, he yelled, chastising Scott Hall. We're already booked that segment for the next Super Brawl. A Hummer then pulled up, so lively and quick. It must be Hulk Hogan, the father of Nick. Well, end of Brooke, but that hardly rhymes. (laughs) Hollywood, said Eric. Why are you here? Your contract only calls for four (laughs) matches a year. (laughs) About that, said Hogan. I can't pay my rent. Either give me a bonus or find a new main event. The power play left Easy E very upset. He was going to have Hogan fight David Arquette. Now Booker, now Bagwell, now Goldberg, now Page. On Luger, on Giant, all you get in a cage. We're having a seven-man war games tonight. The winner, for some reason, will be Alex Wright. And because I believe controversy creates cash, we'll next have Medusa against Kevin Nash. (laughs) And then we'll have Canyon go over Ric Flair while Scott Steiner shows up and shaves off his hair. And then in a twinkling, Bischoff heard on the roof, Disco Inferno, who was being a goof. Then the fat man arrived, sporting a beard. No, not Santa Claus. Mark Madden had appeared. Mm. Mark Madden was joined by Tony and Heenan to announce that Bret Hart got screwed by Kiss Demon. Welcome to the greatest night in the history of our business, Shivani said as they had a dusty finish. <laughs> Shivani soon said, time's run out for this fight, so tune into Nitro and have a great night. Oh, boy. Wow. A lot of work put into that one. Yes. A lot of... Some of these are lengthy way. Yeah. No, that was cl- Clever. Are you ready clever. to keep going? I mean, it was well written. Yeah. I mean, there were some yeah. good lines in there. Those were yeah. legitimate laughs from myself. Yep. Next one is Tyler. Thank you for all the years of fun and entertainment. You guys inspired me to even start my own failed attempt at a podcast. I hope to hear more from you guys, and I hope you like my song, despite my lack of singing ability. But I just want to th- th- say thanks and show my love and appreciation. All the best. And 
Happy Christmas. I like that one. I mean, from my own standpoint, I mean, that's that's a heartfelt song. Like, I I felt bad for him. I hope that we are able to... Yeah, uh, I hope hope he can have have what he wants for Christmas. I hope he's happy. He will be happy this Friday. That's right. If he tunes in. Have we announced what we're reviewing on Friday, or are we saving that? Um, Let's save it. Okay, we're going to save it. Yeah. But Friday. Friday. We are reviewing a show. Re... Come on. Don't don't let the uh Okay. I just realized. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. The sense just caught that one too. <laughs> um so don't worry. That's why we take notes. All right. We're going to continue here. Up next, Please. Stephen Gutterich. Been big fans of yours for most of the last decade and have finally, with the help of my infinitely more talented wife, Charlotte, put together an entry for the Christmas Jingle Competition, which I can take no more than 5% credit for. Please find attached our song, plus a very slightly edited picture of us from our get-together in Orlando, which I'll have to show you away. Sure. P.S. My wife was very keen for me to relay that contrary to the song she has produced, she's not actually a pervert. This is called... Santa Wavy. And this title alone makes this my front runner. Oh my. Santa Wavy. <gasps> wow. This year I've been baby face for you. It's true. <laughs> You can't see me turning heel, Santa Wavy, so won't you summer slam me tonight? <laughs> Jesus. Johnny, honey, I'd give you all the money in my bank, to be frank. The ladder leads to my heart, Johnny, honey, let's have a royal rumble tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Need mistletoe for a kiss You'll find me at the top of Jericho's naughty list (laughs) A Bailey hug wouldn't be enough I'd be the boss in our romantic tryst Santa Wavy, this year I've acted too sweet for you It's true why don't you show me the robe, Santa Wavy? So slay me like Seth Rollins tonight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. I'm saving that the one. The bar has been set. Oh, yeah. That I'll was so. A, great singing. Yes. Well written. It yes. was a minute 25, mm-hmm. which I think we can say length is part of the criteria. It, it, it wasn't before, it is now. <laughs> 
it's definitely part of the criteria now. Yeah, uh, that, that was outstanding. Yes. Uh, I was expecting a collaboration, but Stephen here, clearly in a producing role. Mm-hmm. But that was tremendous. Uh, Stephen and Charlotte, we met. They came to our live Review Away show back in... Uh, where the hell was WrestleMania this past year? It was in Orlando. Y- yes. And we did our, our live show and got to meet them there. Boy. So, um, wow. I know the people at home cannot see this way, but uh, we have a, a photo here. It's probably easier if you move. A very yes. Christmas-inspired photo show. Wow, I got to cool down after that one. Man. Well, that was uh, quite the entry. Santa Wavy. <laughs> so as we continue here, from that way, we are moving on. To an entrant. You know, the whole thing about this, it's a it's a new day, it's a new era, it's a fresh start for many people, and that goes for all, including Gorov. Oh my god. From Portugal. Yes. From Portugal. Mm-hmm. And he has submitted an entry, a very controversial figure in our past lives. Let's see how he is going to introduce himself in the post wrestling world. John Bullock waiting, they do post wrestling. Rulers of the podcast world, they always got the swing. <laughs> Polly loves Christmas, it's always on his mind. Don't be a grins, do the right thing and share this song tonight. Hey, John Bullock waiting, they do post wrestling. <laughs> Sound like Blue Polish wrestling. The podcast world, they always got that bling. Hey, Polish, <laughs> clearly a one take wonder. <laughs> Rulers of the podcast world, they always got that bling. John and we got fired. <laughs> this is their story. They will be back once again, rewriting history. <laughs> They go together like hair and hair gel. <laughs> Biggest feud of 2017 was Pollock versus Dell. <laughs> hey, John Pollock, waiting, they do post wrestling. Rulers of the podcast world, they always got that bling. John Pollock, waiting, they do post wrestling. Rulers of the podcast world, they always got that bling. Uh huh. These dudes are very popular, even on Tinder. I can bet you that they don't suck like Jinder. Even though the law got can in the ass. <laughs> I'm sure that John and Way will make it up to first class. <laughs> hey, John Paul, waiting. Thank you for everything. Without you, my life would be just another blimp. John Pollock waiting, they do push wrestling. Rulers of the podcast world, they always got their bling. Yeah. Oh, oh. my goodness. I have so many thoughts. Karav, thank you so much for following us. Oh, oh no. What's this? Is this more? Okay. That, that, was, uh, that was great. Ex- exactly what I want. <laughs> from a Gaurav Kumar joint. Uh, I guess you're right. It, I would expect dumb. nothing less than Gaurav. Uh, awful rhyming, but so... Funny. Sentimental. Very funny. I mean, clearly... Hey, you know what got me? The Dell reference. It proved to me he followed along mm. during what I will call uh, the dark period. Yes. He, yes. he s- stayed through. So he won brownie points uh, with me on that one. He's a mainstay. Um, some of those uh, rhymes... Okay. Some barely rhymes. Yeah. Uh, but overall, thank you. Listen, he's uh, not getting a record deal. Let's 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 spoil that hey, one out. But hey, in this kind of a contest, you just never know. Next up is Imran. After the negative message that my Christmas jingle last year gave out, that Way can quit podcasts if you want to, and the fact that this could have become a reality this year with what happened to you guys, I decided to do a complete 180 and record a Christmas jingle for you guys that has the most positive message I could think of. So here it is. It is Imran presenting I Wish There Could Be Podcasts Every Day. Now, this is three minutes. I'm okay. going to state ahead of time, if this loses my interest, we're going to 
bail out of this early. Three minutes is kind of the max. Okay. Okay? So sure. nothing against you, Imran. It's more of a time concern. Sure. But let's go. I'm already excited because this is always one of my favorite Christmas songs from the, the SNL crew. Maybe, maybe it's not done in that style. No. When Vinny Mac puts out a show Oh, I just would like to know If you put a great big smile on John Pollock's face Oh, I wish there was a way To hear the thoughts of John and Way But thanks to John and Way for life They are here to stay Well, I wish there could be podcasts every day I want to hear more stories about people who shall not ah. be named. <laughs> we tried. Oh, I wish there could be podcasts every day. So put out the podcast. So John and Way put out a show. And I just would like to know. If John's down <laughs> top is doing okay <laughs> I want to hear about that day I'll even tolerate <laughs> But I'll hit fast forward when they get to the blue chase <laughs> This is very good Well, I wish there was a podcast every day just be wary about spoilers for Riverdale. The Black Hood. Well, I wish there was a podcast every day. So put out another podcast. So Michael Cole is plugging a show. And we'll hear John's head explode When he talks about the odds And the women's fatal four way And when it comes to mania time John will have to hear that line That is the 34th anniversary And it's live on the WWE Network Well, I wish there could be wrestling Every day Sorry, Nate, just no more TNA. <laughs> oh, I wish there could be wrestling every day. So put out another podcast. Very good. Wow. Wow. Some yeah. real work. I know. That has gone into these. Yeah. Work. Great lyrics, uh, catchy tune. Every year they bring it, way. Every year they oh, bring it. Oh man, they don't disappoint. And this year, I don't. Want, I don't want. Some of those references are very fresh. I know. So, I know. how much time did these people even have? And really, we put the call out under two weeks ago. I know. Like this was the lowest, the shortest amount of time window we ever provided. That's incredible. And they all came in. We've got two more here. Next is a a favorite. Dare I say he could become the post wrestling archivist. Brad, let me let me preface this by saying Brad contacted me earlier before the submission deadline, and he asked me, "Hey, wait, I'm about to uh, make submit a song that uh, includes some certain lyrics. Oh, Are boy. you okay with this?" He told me what the lyrics were about, and I was like, "Yeah, that's totally fine." So, oh, I'm excited. Now. You guys all listen for, to yourselves. Oh. Are earmuffs involved for the young children? No, listening? no, no. We know Brad's not like that. Okay. Wow. I'm ex- You've got my intrigue here. Um, all his message is simply the best of luck with post wrestling in the new year. So here we go. Oh, Wei Ting's tree. <laughs> John Pollock, Wei Ting, Merry Christmas. I just wanted to share a Christmas song I wrote about a story Wei told a couple years ago where his family put up a Christmas tree. <laughs> And I believe it was it was up for a couple months <laughs> after Christmas. March, to be song. specific. <laughs> oh, waiting's tree, oh, waiting's tree. 
How lovely it is adorned. Oh, waiting tree, oh, waiting tree, embraced by the Ting family. <laughs> they put it up for Christmas cheer. New Year's Day, dry needles <laughs> up here. Oh, waiting tree, oh, waiting tree. Do you want to call your parents down? Don't forget tree pickups next Tuesday. <laughs> Oh, waiting street, oh, waiting street, the rumble has come and gone. Oh, waiting street, oh, waiting street, a fire hazard has come. <laughs> the tree's been up for 60 days. Spring training starts for the blue days. <laughs> oh, waiting street, oh, waiting street. It's time to throw it out now, seriously. <laughs> oh, waiting tree, oh, waiting tree. It's not a tree anymore. Oh, waiting tree, oh, waiting tree. Mostly just sticks scattered on the floor. Way says that's it, this tree's gotta go. But before I do that, one last grammable photo. Oh, waiting tree, oh, waiting tree, happy Canada Day. <laughs> oh, wow, Thank Brad. you, Brad. Always a favorite. Oh, I, man. I love the Canadian politeness that that generated a yeah. clearance ahead of time. Yeah, he that thought, was amazing. He thought I'd be offended by that. No. <laughs> I would love to picture you just getting furious. Yes, how dare you. You know, your dad made a brief cameo during Christmas Eve. Was that picked up? Uh, I don't know if it was, but I saw you communicating as he came in. You know what he asked? I just, I would love you to pit play this for you know your, what my dad, your dad. You know what my dad asked me? What? Do you want a coffee? You said no? I said no. Oh, boy. What a nice, considerate... He's, he's a very nice man. Act. Undoubtedly, probably from a, a Keurig K-Cup. Oh, man. Instant Could you have imagined? That would have just made it complete, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh. We, we've had everything, by the way. We've had your dad offer coffee. We had some singing earlier mm-hmm. that I don't know if the listeners got to uh, to partake in. But this is like, I feel like I should pay admission when I come here. I, I get like a show. You basically live here, man. That's great. There's a spare room for you right here in the post office. Wow. Look at that. It's uh, perfectly accommodating. Mm-hmm. It's wonderful. We have one more to go. All right. Some, From, some, some, it's been good. It's been pretty good. We've had some good ones. Marty Tops, big fan of the podcast. Not sure if this is exactly what you're looking for, but I released a tap out themed Christmas album a few years ago and thought you might enjoy this one. What? If we had an award for the best setup to a song, that might have won. Okay. A now, tap out themed Christmas album. Now I'm curious. I can't imagine that that featured anything other than STEM singing and butchering your holiday classics give it to me all right here we are let's face the pain oh god i wonder if he works at tap out it's called oh come by me tap out I think this is from their official commercial. Oh my god. There is a sale over at in the background. What are we listening to? Oh, God. Oh, there's there's a solo. Hey, I wanted to hear more of that. How long is it? I'll tell you, I'm just imagining a man spending hours of his free time doing this. 
No, he made a Tap Out album years ago and sent us what uh, he thought was probably his best track. That's what I'm thinking about. A man spending hours of his time creating an album <laughs> dedicated... There was an album of this way, to, an album. To buying Tap Meeting Out. multiple. What do we, what, let's give him a plug. I need to know what the name of this album is. God. I'm going to look up. Oh. Tap Out themed... Christmas album. Oh god! I almost feel like it's a joke off of Middle Easy. It's called. <laughs> oh god! You have to. Send no, it. I found it. Okay, it's called a very tap out Christmas <laughs> by you, Marty Tops. Can you send this to Jordan Breen, please? Okay. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna read the track listings. Okay. Yes, please. This. This guy. <laughs> okay, you want to know what's crazy? Is that this guy used to work. At Balzac's, and he's a comedian in the city. Shut the fuck I've up. seen him at Comedy Bar, and I know he used to work at Balzac's. Wow. I've seen this guy many times. Oh, my god. And goodness. now I have a reason to say hi to him next time. Oh, man. Okay. This was 18 tracks. First of all, Marty, thank you for inspiring this. You're definitely not winning, but I'm going to give you a great plug here for your album, okay? <laughs> this is clearly done as a joke, which... Oh, please. I guess... Don't ruin the magic. Oh, okay. maybe it was done serious. Here are some of the t- tracks. All I want for Christmas is some tap out. Oh, come buy me tap out. Tap out gear rocks. I imagine done in the style of Jingle Bell rocks. <laughs> Here are some others. A tap out carol. Do they know about tap out? <laughs> tap out me out. <laughs> A shirt for me. Christmas remix. <laughs> when you wear tap out, tap out in heaven, new start, the Xmas remix. Oh my god. For folks that want to hear this, martytops.bandcamp.com slash album. Well, go to go to martytops.bandcamp.com and from there you can navigate to find a very tap out Christmas. Well, if anything, this whole contest was worth worth it just to find out about that. Uh thank you, Marty, you do not win, but uh what a, what an entrant! I would a guy that I know I've 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 seen yeah. before. I've never spoken to this man that in my is life. Incredible! He must have seen you. I guess so. Look he's at just all this. Thinking, hmm, maybe he'd love my tap. I bet you Agnew knows this guy. Alrighty. Wow. Let's get well, back. Wait, do you want a recap of the the entries? Yeah. How have? about just a brief clip of each one? Uh, that is not okay. Difficult. Then let's not <laughs> let's not do that. Um, how about okay? So I'll tell you off the top of my head who I think are the contenders. Do we have a slam dunk? I or do you think I it's think, a debate? I think it's between two. Okay. Okay. Certainly. Uh, what, sorry, I forgot the names. Stephen Gutteridge and Charlotte. Yes. With Santa Wavy. Yes, that's right. That is my choice. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you the other one. Well, the other one I thought was also very strong. Oh, man, I wish I had this list in front of me. Um, the one t- uh, after Gaurav. Imran. Imran. Imran was the one who released uh, I Wish There Could Be Podcasts Every Day. Yeah, his was good. Okay. His was the three-minute one, I, and he kept my attention for three minutes. That's it, yes. He had a very good one. Yes. But you're choosing... I think, Santa Way, Wade. that much in the style of the 1994 Royal Rumble, we can have co-winners of the first ever post wrestling jingle Christmas jingle contest. Both feet touched the floor. They did. At the same time. So congratulations to Imran and the tandem of Charlotte and Steven. And what are they winning? A sincere thank you oh. from myself and Way. Oh. Part of the fact both are from England. And you know what? I hope that next year we can send prizes. I'll tell you what. Uh, Do we have any prizes? When they like? get, when they get made, they are receiving a postal service care package. Oh, okay, that's courtesy cool. of us, and that includes the pin. That includes a postcard, handwritten Scott Putzky award, made out to both of them. Perfect. So when they when they get made, give us give us some time. A twenty five dollar value. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, but our our sincere thank you to everybody who submitted entries. Very good in, entries this year, in, in seriously, from all of, of you. Even a, a tap out Christmas. It's, which is an album I might download. Like if I told my parents right now, hey, we're listening to a bunch of songs people wrote uh, with our names in them, they'd be like, what? 
I want to go they ask your dad about, remember the year you guys had a Christmas tree? A fan made this for you. He, good luck explaining that to him. I don't even know if I can explain that to him in Cantonese. Wow. But uh, it's just like, they don't even know. What, what if I try in Cantonese? Yes, I think that would be help. But like, my parents don't even have a concept of what podcasts are. They have no idea what I do. So, um, thank you guys. I'll do my best to let them know.